Hi folks and welcome back to the shack and uh, another interesting video for you, another project um, so you may remember a few videos back I tried to build an RF amplifier with an 833A tube and didn't really have an awful lot of luck with that so I ended up rebuilding it into a 3500Z tube so what I've got today, uh, <clears throat> I, I had four of those tubes and I thought to myself, well, I can't really waste them. I'm going to make myself an audio amplifier, which hopefully, um, <clears throat> the, well, that this is what the A33A was originally designed for. So I've been playing around with a few things on the bench here and prototyping uh, an A33A audio amplifier. And uh, so I'm going to show you how it sounds. Uh, it's not too bad, actually. So uh, just to um, run through what we've got here. Uh, so it's all a bit sprawled out on the bench, um, and um, yeah, well, it sort of works. I've just been switching it on, and uh, we'll go through it quickly. So uh, that's the A33A, obviously. So that's going to be the main um, power amplifying tube. And uh, if we move over, if we start from this section first, that's the that's the uh, output transformer. So this setup is a single-ended triode. It's not push-pull or anything like that. So we'll have to, if we decide to go ahead with this build and build the whole thing up properly, we're going to have to obviously make two uh, identical units if you're going to have a stereo amplifier. So single-ended triode, and that's obviously what the A three three A is. And then moving back, um, <clears throat> we have an interstage transformer, which is a Hammond one two six B. So it's five thousand ohms to five thousand ohms, one to one. And that's basically driving the grid of this tube, which the other side of this transformer is connected to Earth. Okay, so uh, moving back a stage once more. So this is really the um, sort of preamp and uh, the driver stages of, the, of this uh, amplifier. So starting at the very beginning, so the the audio comes in here. This is I'm actually running it from the computer, and we've got an EF86, which is sort of standard. Um, audio preamp tube. Uh, that's a 6SN7 um, double triode which is a provides further amplification and basically is a driver for this tube here which is a 6B4G which again is a, is a triode, output triode. I mean some people just use one of these and you can make an amplifier just with one of those uh, on its own or you put them in um, you know, if you build had two of these units, you can make a smallish amplifier or medium-sized amplifier. Because I, I testing this on its own, actually, this setup actually produces quite a bit of audio on its own without the uh, without the A33A. So underneath, it's it's a bit of a mishmash, but again, this is just a test up, testing rig. As I say, it's not particularly tidy. Um, but when we build the whole thing up completely, then hopefully it will be a little bit better than that. And uh, moving along, so the rest of the amplifier is a power supply. Uh, I'm powering the heaters of all these valves from various solid state power supplies. Can't really see that. It's decided not to do that. There we go. Standard sort of bench power supply which supplies the heaters and the HT for the preamp comes from this uh, power supply here. This is one that I've basically built for a transmitter um, so the, the, the HT for the preamp is only about 400 volts on that triode and then there's some resistors which sort of step the voltage down for the other two stages uh, and then the 833A so this valve at the moment I mean this thing will take up to 3kV um, but if we run it at 3kV we have to we have to bias the tube uh, so it makes the whole thing a bit more complicated. At the moment, because we're using it directly from this interstage transformer, we are running it at um, zero bias. Um, <clears throat> so it's 1,000 volts on the anode of this. That's the anode. And that comes from the um, this power supply here, which is actually one of my um, linear amplifier power supplies. And this power supply will actually do up to 2.8 kV, so we're running about 1,000 volts uh, for this tube. Um, <clears throat> I did, it, when I first tried it out, actually, I was getting a lot of hum from the HT because the HT on that power supply is not terribly smooth. It's, you know, it's a, it's really built for a, an RF setup rather than audio. So um, I stuck a, a cheeky choke in there, 
uh, tried to get a bit more smoothing and another cheeky capacitor to try and uh, again try to get a bit more smoothing it's not too bad at the moment i mean it's um the audio is not too bad but it's it could probably do with a bit more um a bit more smoothing but once it's all you know for the setup as it is i mean bear in mind we've got wires everywhere um you know it's uh it's not too bad so i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna give you a demo if i can get this thing all to work but i'll have to turn everything on first so let's get it all set up and then we will um give you a quick demo of what it sounds like all right folks back again um, so everything's on we've got some serious voltage running around this shack at the moment um, so anyway let's see if this is going to work I'm going to turn the computer on and we will see if we get any music Right, folks, um, <clears throat> I'm just going to turn this off because there is a little bit of hum. Uh, let's have a look. That's better. And I will turn this one off. And that. So, as you can see, uh, it sort of works. Um, it could probably do with a bigger speaker. It's. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much power this will produce. Um, I mean, when these things are running full tilt, which some people have built with that, you know, biasing and all the rest of it, running say two, two and a half thousand volts, you know, this thing is capable of about 150 watts per channel. Um, I don't think I'm, in, I'm quite in that bracket. Um, <clears throat> I, I think it's probably, probably, I, I think it's capable. This is, you know, with a proper speaker, and you probably get at least 100 watts out of it. I think, or or just under that possibly um, but uh, yeah I mean once we've um, built it all up onto a chassis I'm going to build all this lot into a chassis build up separate power supply building like two of these units identical one one for each channel and hopefully it should be uh, quite an awesome amplifier I think it uh, and I think you know with the once the chassis once the proper power supply is built and it, well, it's all in proper units then hopefully the hum will be a little bit better there's a bit of hum there and it tends to pick up some of the garbage from the computer you know noise and everything so uh considering it's all sprawled out on the bench um it's not too bad anyway i hope you enjoyed that and next time we come back well maybe in a few months time no less than that the way the rate i do projects um probably in the new year hopefully i should have have all this built in proper chassis and hopefully it'll look pretty cool 
So we'll show you what it looks like. Cheers.